the screen shows a free body diagram of the yo-yo. We can use the equation that the external torque is equal to the moment of inertia times the angular acceleration alpha because the necessary conditions for using this equation are fulfilled in this case. We have an axis through the center of mass and it is an axis of symmetry and the axis does not change direction. So we're okay to use this equation. Right, let's now first of all consider translational motion and write down the equation for translational motion. The resultant force in the y direction is just mg, the mass of the yo-yo times the acceleration due to gravity, minus the tension in the string T. That resultant force is just equal to the mass of the yo-yo times the acceleration of its center of mass in the y direction. That's just ACMY. The equation for the moment of inertia is just a half MR squared. And we can now write an equation for the rotational motion. So the torque is equal to the applied force, which in this case is T, times the perpendicular distance of the line of action, that force, from the axis of rotation, which is just R, the radius.